Hello, this is Dr. Loach from HumanBodyHelp.com and today I wanted to make a video distinguishing between a clavicle and a rib. Okay? Oftentimes I see students mix these up on exams so I wanted to make a video to help students distinguish between the two. Okay? Now one of the first things you can see that's different about these would be the size but also the shape. Okay? This clavicle right here you can see is S-shaped. Right. where the rib is C-shaped or U-shaped depending on your perspective. Let's look at some of the characteristics starting with the clavicle. Okay. This clavicle you can see there's a smooth side here and a rough side here. This smooth side, this smooth surface right here faces upward okay, toward the head. This would be the superior aspect of the clavicle. Now the clavicle has two ends to it. It has a medial end and a lateral end. This medial end is known as the sternal end and this would articulate with the sternum, specifically the manubrium of the sternum. This flattened end over here, this is the acromial end. This would articulate with the acromion process of the scapula. On the inferior aspect of the clavicle you can see all of these bumps and grooves. Okay. The inferior surface is rougher than the smooth superior surface. Okay. Still looking at a chromial end on this side and the sternal end on this side, we can see some interesting features like this trapezoid line right here. This trapezoid line is where the trapezoid ligament attaches. And then this thing right here, this is the conoid tubercle. Okay. This is where the conoid ligament attaches. Both of these ligaments that attach in these two places right here, the trapezoid ligament and the conoid ligament, they make up the coracoclavicular ligaments. The ligaments that attach the coracoid process of the scapula to the clavicle. Okay. In this region here we've got a little groove and that's the groove for the subclavius muscle. Over here we've got a tuberosity known as the costal tuberosity. This is where a rib would attach. Okay. So that's the inferior surface of the clavicle. Okay. Now the rib, again, the rib is U-shaped or C-shaped. Right now we're looking at the undersurface of the rib. The superior aspect of the rib you can see is smoother again just like the superior surface of the clavicle is smoother. So most of the features that we would have to identify on a rib are on the undersurface or inferior surface. Here we can see the head of the rib and this would articulate with the demifacets on the thoracic vertebra as well as the intervertebral discs. This narrower aspect right here, this is the neck of the rib. This right here is the tubercle of the rib and there's two parts to the tubercle of the rib. There's this articular part here where you can see that this surface is smooth. This would articulate with the facet, the costal facet on the transverse processes in the thoracic vertebra. This is the non-articular surface or non-articular part of the tubercle of the rib. Okay, so two parts to the tubercle right there. Okay. Now if you look at the shape of the rib, it comes outward like this, and then it starts going forward like this. Okay, so where it changes direction right here, this is the angle of the rib, where it goes from outward to forward. Okay, so this is the angle of the rib. And this ridge right here, and shallow groove just next to the ridge. That's the costal groove or sometimes known as the subcostal groove. Remember we're looking at the undersurface of the rib right here. The intercostal nerve, artery, and vein would run in that little depression right there. Okay. Now this part of the rib would be considered the body of the rib. And then this part over here, this is the part that's going to attach to costal cartilage. Okay. So this part 
articulates in the posterior with the thoracic vertebra. Remember the demi facets attach here as well as the disc and then the, the costal facet on the transverse process attaches to this articular part of the tubercle. This anterior part right here would attach to costal cartilage. Okay, so how do we tell the difference between right and left on these two bones? Okay, first let's start with the clavicle. Okay, now remember the rough surface is underneath, goes on the bottom. The smooth surface is on top. Okay, this is the acromial end, so this goes out lateral. And this is the sternal end, so this goes medial. So if this were in my body, I'd have to rotate it like this, so the sternal end was medial and the acromial end was lateral, front right here and back back here, so this would be a right clavicle. Now let's figure out if this rib is right or left. Now remember we're looking at the inferior surface here, the roughened surface where most of the features are. In order for me to orient this in the proper way, I would have to turn it like this so that the superior surface were facing up. I would have to take this part right here where the head and the tubercle are and put them posterior. Okay? And then this would be anterior where it attaches to the costal cartilage. Okay? So this right here is the proper position for this rib that makes this rib a right rib. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.